What's up, everybody? Greg Cohen from Real Estate Proven Profits, Progress Home Buyers, Jacksonville Wealth Builders, everything else that I do. And I'm here with another video blog post. I've got a new rule though with my video blog posts. They are all one take and done. So if I screw up, that's just the way it is. We're going to go with it. I stole this from Gary Vaynerchuk, the guy who wrote Crush It, the guy on Wine Library TV. I'm going to go with it because sometimes it just takes too many takes to get it done. So here we're going. Hey, I've been reading a good book. It's called Zig Ziglar's uh, Secrets of Closing the Sale. It is a main staple for any sales professional to read. If you haven't read it, you got to pick it up. So what we do in our office is we have book reports. And uh, I did a book report on this book recently. I wanted to share a really cool thing that I learned and something that I'm going to apply in our business. It's talking about the, import the importance of voice inflection. Zig says that voice inflection is the most important skill that you need to master in pursuit of your sales excellence in your career. And Zig says that you must record all of your sales calls or your sales presentations so that you can listen to yourself so you can improve. He talks about the importance of inflection in your voice. So there's a little simple exercise that he goes through in this book that I'm going to go through with you right now just to show you how important voice inflection is. And the goal here is to create an environment where you and your buyer are speaking, you're speaking as a friend, a trusted friend who, uh, of course, is recommending a product that you completely believe in. So, here's what Zig says. Look at this sentence. I did not say he stole the money. Okay? Look at this sentence, and we're going to break it down. If you break this down and you put different inflection on each one of these words, you're going to say something completely different, even though you're saying the same sentence. Okay? How about this? I did not say he stole the money. You're implying there that somebody said that he didn't stole the money, but it probably wasn't you. Okay? How about this? I did not say he stole the money. There I'm saying, I'm making a very vigorous claim of denial that I did not say it. Totally different than the first way. I did not say he stole the money. There you're saying that it, you might not necessarily have said it, but you might have implied it or some other way. I did not say he stole the money. There you're saying that you're saying that somebody stole the money, but maybe, probably not necessarily him. I did not say he stole the money. Now you're saying you're implying that it might have been borrowed or somehow taken, but that it not necessarily stolen. I did not say he stole the money. Now you're saying that maybe some money was stolen, but not necessarily that money. Okay. And the last one, I did not say he stole the money, saying that something was stolen, but not necessarily the money. Okay. So the same sentence, if you put different inflection on each word, is completely different in the minds of the person who's listening. And in this case, in the mind of your prospect, the things that you're saying on the phone to close your sales or in person might come across completely different depending on your inflection. So think about how you're presenting yourself and your voice inflection. Record all of your sales calls or your sales appointments if you can. And Zig says, and in my personal experience, I agree, this will absolutely help your sales career. Have a great day. Talk to you later.